Scott Osler, San Francisco Chronicle. Steph, uh, I wonder, I'm going to ask your opinion, if you care to give it, on the Eagles situation and, and how you feel about being uh, the team and, and kind of the guy that started that, uh, for want of a better word, protest kind of deal, the White House. Uh, I mean, I'm, you know, any team that wins a championship is going to be in that decision-making uh, situation where you got to do what is in best interest of your team and kind of handle that accordingly like, like we did last year. Um, or I should say like the uh, what, we, what we plan to do, having a, a, uh, a meeting together to figure out what our decision was going to be and obviously know what Trump did before. We had an opportunity to do that in kind of a similar situation here, but not surprising. Um, it's unfortunate, but you know we all have our, opportunity, our, our right to kind of do what we want to do, and, and the Eagles, you know, fall in line with that. Mark on the left side of the aisle. Uh, Mark Spears is undefeated. Steph, falling up on that. Uh, LeBron said he would expect that either team that uh, won a championship would not want to go. Let's see if you agree with that, and also. Uh, all the uh, black players from the Eagles decided before being uninvited uh, that they did not want to go and wanted to see what you thought about that as well. Um, I mean, I hope to be in, in that situation and win two more games where we win a championship and obviously know what, what comes with that. But I don't think uh, – I think I agree with Braun. Um, pretty sure um, the way we handled things last year – kind of stay consistent with that. Um, but at the end of the day, uh, like I said, every team has an opportunity to make a decision for themselves and, and speak for themselves. And and uh, I think that's powerful, um, you know, being in, in this situation. Shelly, over here. If, and I know it's a big if, if you get Andre back, what does he bring to your team that you're missing? Not that you're missing, but what does he bring? No, to I know what you mean. He's uh, we, we talk about his versatility all the time. We talk about the ways that he uh, can fill holes defensively and offensively for us, um, and especially against teams that we have such familiarity with. He's such a high IQ type of guy um, that he'll most likely find himself in the right place at the right time and help our rotation get back to what we're you know consistently used to. So. Um, and just for him, just as a, a, a person to be healthy and be able to play in the finals now that we're here, uh, I think that would mean a lot to him and, and give us an emotional boost as well. So um, I don't know what his status is, but uh, I know he's said he's been feeling better and, and making progress, so that's good. But um, I don't know what other hurdles he has to clear to get back out there on the floor. So uh, let him speak on that. Tim, back left. Steph, all the way in the back corner. Tim Reynolds with the AP. To go back to the anthem and the White House for a second, when, when you made, when, when you first came out and said last year that you weren't interested in going, did you expect, number one, that we'd still be talking about it you know, a year later and that the divide was seemingly going to widen between the White House and, and athletes in general? And secondly, did you ever think about maybe the unintended consequence of the White House is now almost using this as fuel in some regards in that, like, for example, they came out today and said that the Eagles are the ones alienating their fans, that they're not. It's, it, did, you, did you have any idea it was going to turn into all this? No, but I didn't really. Um, I, would say I did care because it's a, an important conversation, but you can't control what other people try to do or try to control the narrative or things like that. Uh, we've been really consistent about our messaging and understanding what you know why we did what we why we decided or I should say why I decided to you know um, speak out on us not go, or me not wanting to go to the White House you know last year um, and every team that's won a, a championship since then has has gone through that um, and like I said it's 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 hard for um, you know, so many people want to chime in and and uh, and how I guess social media is used you know today uh the, the conversation can get out of control with so many different voices and um i, I know a guy from the from the eagles uh wide receiver used to who played there on the on the championship or super bowl winning team last year and he broke it down uh pretty verbatim of how his process went you know with you know his discussions with his teammates and 
and how uh, he wanted to keep the, the focus on what the conversation should be and not the anthem and not Trump's policies or how his, he's been you know, overshadowing the NFL and all that type of stuff. So that's refreshing knowing that he's educating people along the way. And, and, uh, and I think that's important if you focus on who the, who's saying the right things. Um, you, know, you, you should get lost in, that, in, in the noise that's going on right now. Mark in the front. Uh, Steph, Mark Medina Barry, News Group. This season, how have you seen the dynamic with you and Kevin play out in terms of knowing when it's best for you to get going and him to get going and vice versa? Um, I mean, you, every 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 opportunity we get it to play, you know, more minutes together, we start to figure out a, a better chemistry, and that's been the case since October 2017. So um, it's nice when we're both going and, and have – you know the opportunity to uh, play off of each other you know we both can be aggressive no matter if you know if i'm getting a shot or he's getting a shot or anybody else on the team's getting a shot it's just we, we pick our, our spots offensively try to find the right matchups uh find the right flow you know make simple plays um you know good things usually happen and i think it's both it's best when we're communicating with each other about what we see on the floor consistently. And uh, we've been doing a lot of that as of late, um, encouraging each other, but also kind of pinpointing things that we see. And it's refreshing to hear that from his perspective and I'm sure, you know, vice versa. So, um, you know, that, that, that helps. And I remember in the four, fourth quarter uh, of game two, right when they called their first, Cleveland called their first time out, he was the first one in my face, like, you know, Pep, Pepping me up uh, for kind of holding it down while he's on the bench, and, and vice versa. We want to see each other succeed, and and uh, got a good chemistry going. Specifically this season, because there are so many like different overlapping injuries with yourself, and sometimes he was out of the lineup. To what degree did that play any complications at times? Not much. I mean, um, the. I would say kind of the things that we, we bring the best out of each other when it comes to what our strengths are. Um, when one guy's out, you miss that, but it's it's not hard to kind of you know, ramp ramp it back up once we're both out there on the floor. So we've ever since uh, the game two of the Pelican series, we've you know, built up that uh, that chemistry again, and uh, it's been fun. And standing on the left. Ann Killian with the San Francisco Chronicle. Steph, when you walk into this building in June, what kind of memories hit you? Um, and also, how do, how do you feel like you've played here during the playoffs? I mean, it feels like uh, feels like the finals. I mean, like I said, this is a road atmosphere in the finals. This is the only building I know, you know what that experience is like. So. Uh, and we know how the atmosphere is here. We know how you know Cleveland plays here with a lot of energy and force. And uh, I think, without down going back to each game, I think I played solidly. Can uh, obviously, hopefully, raise my level up this year coming in uh, with the opportunity we have in front of us, being up 2-0 again. So, um, you know, we understand how hard it is to win in this building. Um, you know, no matter what's going on in the series, when you when you when you change venues, you got to reassert your, your your dominance and your and, and try to find that right momentum to start. And um, we have a great opportunity, you know, tomorrow to do that. And I want to be, you know, a part of, of leading that charge and, and playing a, a, an amazing game tomorrow and, and really taking control of the series.